Hello, Scott and Jamie with Abby Services. Uh, with the current pandemic, we have been sort of scrambling to get our COVID care package put together. We've seen uh, a lot of great ideas and a lot of folks doing great things, and this was what we came up with. Um, I think most clients can't reduce their risk to getting COVID to zero, especially when you have a private caregiver in your home and folks coming and going, but you can reduce your risk. And our goal is that through some of the products that we're giving to every client uh, and every new client, that we can reduce their risk while being safe and receiving the care that they need. So in this package, and these things are very hard to get, let me tell you, uh, when COVID, when the pandemic first started back in, what, early March? I, it, it probably started before then. We scrambled to order masks, to order gloves, to order booties, uh, the little surgical booties that you would wear into someone's home, yeah. uh, and hand sanitizer. At one point, we found masks at a pharmacy, and I think they were a mask or a box of 50, and we spent $75 for a box of 50, and that was just enough to give each one of our caregivers yes. a mask. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I, I mean, $75 for a box of 50 masks is insane because considering for this, it wasn't that expensive. Sure. So supply and demand, uh, there's definitely the demand right now. And as you can see, we have the supply. So we've been getting calls from case managers, from social workers wondering, are you taking new patients? The answer is yes, absolutely. And for every new patient, we're gonna provide them with this COVID care package. Now in the package, it includes masks. Now, again, these are a hot commodity. We would recommend that you use these, and if you have the same person coming and going in the hospital, they're putting them in an envelope and saving them to use another time, to use another day. Uh, so if you have, say, a niece, nephew, anyone coming over, a contractor, uh, who isn't wearing a mask of their own, you have these to provide to them, but I wouldn't tear through them and then pick up the phone and ask for more because they are limited. Be smart about it. So we've got masks, we have gloves, uh, and the current recommendation from the CDC is that when a caregiver is providing direct patient care to wear gloves, the gloves are going to go quick as well. So this is going to get you started. If you see some, stock up because they're going to run out. Um, but we're getting you started. Uh, also, hand sanitizer. Again, good hand hygiene has been key. Now, you don't have to have hand sanitizer to have good hand hygiene. All you need is some good old soap and water. But when you're providing patient care, I know that there are situations where you immediately need to jump in and assist someone and you need to do something else. The hand sanitizer is going to be key. It needs to be 70% alcohol for Correct. it to be effective. And in addition to the little ones, we've got these big old jugs here. Um, and you know what? They can be used to fill some of these up as needed. Uh, sure, so, if you have one of these, we would be happy to fill it up for you. Sure. So in addition to the hand sanitizer, another tough thing to come by, there's no toilet paper in here, by the way, but a tough thing to come by uh, was disinfecting spray. So we tracked down some Lysol. The, if you go to the stores, the shelves are empty. empty. I bought what I could. So this Lysol, now everybody thinks seems to think that you need to have that Lysol's disinfecting spray and that's it. No, you can go into the EPA, Environmental Protection um, Agency. Agency. <laughs> Anyways, EPA. And they have a whole list of uh, cleaning products that will remove COVID-19. Um, so this was one of them and it smells nice and I know that everybody will use this. On our sheet that we're including in the COVID care package, the CDC has information on disinfecting commonly touched areas of your home. A doorknob, a microwave handle, uh, the flushy lever on your commode. Um, in addition to using this, once it's empty, don't get rid of the sprayer. One of the things that the CDC says that you can use, and I know you can get because I was just at the Dollar General yeah. picking stuff up, is bleach. Again, you have to be careful with bleach, so don't blame us if you spill bleach on something. But you can use one third cup of bleach per gallon of water, mix it up, spray it on a surface, and here's one key that some folks don't do. You have to allow it to remain on that surface for one minute. That allows it to kill whatever's on that surface. You can't spray and wipe and be like, okay, it's clean because it hasn't had the time to do what it needs to do. So in addition to the COVID care package, 
We've got brochures. Those are so that you can make sure that your neighbors and your friends and other people that you care about know who to call. And that's, of course, Abby Services, right? Absolutely. In and addition. Wait, hold on. Uh, I didn't go. remiss yeah. if I didn't mention our Prism CBD products. So if you're feeling real stressed out because of all of this and you can't sleep and you're you know, just on edge, your CBD can really help you get through this, through this time. So we carry full stock in our office. Come on in and get some. So, pros and cons, uh, when this was all starting, we thought, you know what, let's get some Abbey Services masks. And we did, but they're not quite what we expected. So, <laughs> pros, they're super comfortable. It's gonna provide a level of protection. Con, it's just not what we thought. Um, but we're gonna put them in your package. You're gonna get one. It looks great with the Abbey Services logo. Yeah. Um, and again, it's not gonna eliminate your risk, but it's going to reduce your risk. And if you need anything, give us a call. I'm a registered nurse. Jamie awesome. knows all about home health care, knows about all the different options in our community, and we're happy to help. Thank you.